Ford has just increased prices of their updated Ford F-150 electric pickup trucks by between six and eight thousand US dollars. However, it's important you're aware of what's really going on. EV Paddy said, I had an F-150 electric pickup on order. It finally came in. My local dealer tried to charge me 30,000 US dollars over MSRP. I told them I'd get back to them by the end of the week, but they said I had to act immediately or give up my allocation. They then sold the truck to another dealer that they own on the other side of town. That dealer listed it as used and marked it up 45,000 US dollars. I tweeted at Mike L and all the other VPs at Ford that I could find, but I didn't get a response, nothing at all. I should have brought it up on Reddit's F-150 subreddit. They seem to get resolutions. 7,000 US dollars increase I could stomach, but I'm not giving an additional 29,000 US dollars to my local dealer. Well, here's the details of Ford's electric pickup price increases, changes to range, changes to specs, and then, well, you can make up your mind on whether or not you can actually get one for those prices. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. It's another wonderful day on planet Earth. Now, this is happening right now. It's ridiculous. It's it puts a bad taste in people who buy Ford. I mean, imagine you're that guy, right? Who had that experience, and he's one of many. Imagine you're one of those many. Would you really want to buy a Ford vehicle in future? Would you just go, nah, I'm protesting. I'm not going to buy your vehicles anymore. I think there's a pretty good chance you would never consider a Ford ever again. Even if they called you and said, hey, we've got a good deal, you'd probably go, nah, you know what? Uh, I'm not happy with the way you've treated me. You treated me poorly. I waited for, what, a year. I was excited. And then you called me and tried to charge me 30,000 US dollars above MSRP. Anyhow, let's get to the story. Ford is reopening orders, which is good news, for existing reservation holders on its very popular F-150 electric pickup truck. The new models will feature an upgraded range, new colors, and more. There are also some expected significant price increases of between six to 8,000 US dollars, depending on the model. Starting on Thursday, consumers that convert an order for the new Ford F-150 Lightning will get a bunch of new features for paying an extra six to $8,000. This pretty much means that, you know, really, if you want an electric pickup truck now, the price is going up. So for those hundreds of thousands of people that have actually pre-ordered, yeah, I think they're going to have to pay these additional prices. I don't see how they're going to get out of it. The new Pro model is 47,000. The XLT is 59,500. The XLT High is 68,000. The XLT High Extended Range is 81,000. The Lariat, 74,000. Lariat Extended Range, 86,000. And the Platinum Extended Range, 96,874. I want to make it very clear to you now. I still think these are really good prices for this truck. I still think they're really, really good. But I do think that um, I was right, and you were probably right as well, I'm assuming, when we all thought together that Ford would do this. We all thought Ford would increase prices. It's a pretty significant increase and it's happened pretty quickly after the vehicle coming on sale. So as we all suspected, Ford's original prices were purely marketing. They've sold a few of them at those prices, some, not many. A lot of them they've marked up above MSRP. People have been willing to pay that to get one. But realistically, it was really a marketing exercise. It wasn't really like they said, hey, honestly, we're going to sell you one for 40,000 US dollars and then they went and sold Lots of them for 40,000 US dollars. They didn't. Right now, Ford is seeing huge demand for its electric vehicles. Sales of the F-150 Lightning are, well, they're doing really well, of course. Deliveries are, are starting. Um, not There's not a lot of deliveries, but, you know, it's better than General Motors deliveries, that's for sure. Ford has delivered 4,400 so far this year. And, you know, the American media are celebrating this as some sort of great triumph, 4,400. And to be honest... Compared to Lucid, it is a great triumph. There's no question. But compared to you know what we what we what we hope from Ford, it's not really that many. Furthermore, Ford has secured 70% of the battery capacity to reach its two million units of EV sales by 2026, says the Electric. 
and Ford is looking to hit a run rate capacity of 600,000 electric vehicles by the end of next year. So Ford has some pretty ambitious goals for their EVs, which is great. I love what Jim Farley is trying to do there at Ford. And they did hit 11% electric vehicle market share in July. That's their highest ever percentage. Here's what we know about Ford's F-150 Lightning upgrades. Several recent changes are featured in Ford's new F-150 Lightning upgrade. For one, new models come with a better range, 240 miles, which is an increase of 10 miles more than the previous version. That's a good thing. Now, apparently Ford hasn't actually changed anything. They're saying that because heated seats are now standard, EPA range is slightly affected by 10 miles. So maybe the range won't actually change in the real world. I don't know. Here's some of the upgrades. New colors. You can get a bunch of colors. Um, Atlas blue, ice blue silver, smoked quartz metallic. In addition, pro trailer hitch assist, which is an industry first. Ford's new F-150 Lightning will feature automatic steering, throttle, and brake inputs to make hitching your trailer easier. That's a good thing. I've had to do that lots of times, and you've got to get out of the car, walk to the back, look and see where you are, and, you know, if that solves that issue, that's really good. Now, Ford is saying that current order holders who haven't received their cars won't be affected. But, I mean, I don't know if that's true, because if dealerships are marking their prices up anyway, then obviously they're going to be affected in some way. I'm not sure how that will work. Now, obviously, like I said, we all knew these price increases were coming at some point. Um, and to be honest, Ford's not really adding any new features, many major features. It's, it's pretty much a nothing change. It's really, um, Ford's just saying, the price has gone up. And, you know, with Tussify, by, we'll, we'll add an extra little feature here. But really, there's no change to these trucks pretty much at all. You're getting Trailer Assist Pro, that's it. Nothing else. But that said... There's still really good value. If you can get one at MSRP, even at these increased prices, I would do so. That's personally my choice that I would take. I mean, I'm an Aussie. We can't get them at all in Australia. And Ford has no plans to sell them here in Australia. Where pickup trucks are the most popular vehicles by far, which sucks. But anyway, at least you guys in Canada and the US. Canada, do you guys get them? I don't know about that. I'll have to look that up. So that's a good thing. And remember, the more of these we get on the roads, the more gas-powered pickup trucks will eventually not be on the roads. Usually people who are going to buy a pickup truck are going to buy one, whether it's gas-powered or electric. They can buy an electric Ford. That, to me, is actually a really good thing. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think? What do you think about these price increases? Do you feel like Ford's being transparent on pricing?